من روایتگر قصه ایم که هیچ نقطه یا اوجی جز انتهاش نداره الو Welcome to my dream رسیدیم اینجا امریکاست خب میدونم این زندگی که تو ساخته میخواد به چی برسه من مردمم نگران گرسنه شوربخت بالاخره نشون میدم من کیم welcome Of course, it's not the same like uh, in the cinema with the audience, but um, yeah, hopefully one day we can meet each other in real life. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, thank you so much for having me. Uh, I really appreciate it. Yeah, we are happy uh, to have you in our program. Um, so, In your work, America, you um, have very interesting topics. So my first question is um, about uh, your, um, your uh, way from Iran to America, which is also a topic of the film. Um, how did the, my, your migration process Um, impact your work as a filmmaker? How did it influence you? Uh, yeah, I mean, um, it was actually, uh, I, I wait for a long time to come to the US. Um, and uh, I'm not going to say that the story of the film is kind of my life because it's not. Uh, but uh, it's kind of impacted all aspects of like people's life who are living in the Middle East because especially in Iran uh, because uh, you know like getting a visa in Iran is like such a hard process you have to go to another country and, and uh, you might not get the visa because of like many reasons Uh, I was pretty lucky because I was like the only because you know women have more chances to get a visa so I, I, I got it eventually um, but that day that I went there many people didn't get it so I mean the story kind of impacted um, by this issue too because uh, I was always thinking that like why like leaving Iran is like such a hard process for Iranians Um, and um, especially all in all Middle Easterns, actually. Uh, so the whole story of the film, like, kind of impacted by this. And yeah, I think it's very interesting. Um, also, the topic of belonging in diaspora. Um, also about the media, like the connection of media. to homeland and the new place in diaspora. Um, and how did you, um, or how is this, uh, how did you come up with the idea of the husband and the wife in the other uh, place? Yeah, uh, you know, um... I mean, in terms of ethnicity, you know, Kurdish, ethnic, Kurdish people in Iran are really repressed. So the reason that I kind of uh, used the family is a, I mean, I used the family as a Kurdish, in a Kurdish ethnicity, because I wanted to show that like, uh, you know, uh, you know, in, in terms of Iranian, people are facing uh, so much in injustice, but like when you are Kurdish, you face more injustice in Iran. Uh, so I try to show it as a, uh, like a Kurdish family who has, um, the, that one of them has a Iranian wife. Uh, so, uh, so the Iranian wife can get the visa, but the guy who was a Kurdish guy can't get the visa. Um, And uh, um, um, I mean, um, what was your question? <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Okay, so um, it's, uh, thank you very much for this uh, information. Um, my question was um, about the media influence mm. because in the film we see the woman uh, in the television and mm. how did you come up with the idea of the husband uh, seeing his wife in the television and how is the connection to the uh, topic of diaspora mm -hmm. Uh, yeah, I mean, the idea of like watching someone on a TV comes up because it's kind of what I wanted to show the depression of this guy uh, that he's just like watching this, uh, you know, success and he doesn't know that how much of success is kind of r real or reality or not, you know, uh, and how much all of us kind of impacted every day by the uh you know media because we are just like watching some you know some figures in the media and we think that oh they are better than us but you really don't know that is it true or not uh so the whole idea was coming from that because you know this woman was his wife he completely know her uh, he knows his uh like uh you know uh, strength and his uh like weaknesses and everything but now she was in a tv and he always thinks that oh okay she is a like big symbol or like you know she's a successful woman or whatever and uh, put him in a like depression mood which is not kind of real um so the uh impact of media i mean for me it's like this because uh i think that the impact of media is just like putting people down and um, uh, just thinking about their weaknesses. Uh, so that, that's what I wanted to show in the film. It's, it's really interesting. I really noticed also that you um, focus also on different aspects on critical media, um, uh, like critical perceptions of media also when you see uh, uh, the woman talking about uh, self-care and fitness and feeling good. Um, and I think it's very interesting how you connected uh, like the media industry, news media, and this personal relationship. Um, but also the, in the beginning of the film, there, we see a sequence where they talk about the Arab Spring uh, did you also want to connect to the topic of news or web, like uh, news coverage in Iran and media um, censorship? Um, I mean, yeah, definitely. I mean, we are kind of, uh, we have two sources of information in Iran. One of them is the media inside of Iran. The other is the media outside of the Iran. Uh, and none of them honestly are really truthful um, because, uh, for example, uh, the things that I put in a film about the Halab is a real thing because when, uh, for example, the media inside of the Iran was showing that news, they said that uh, Halab got freed. Uh, and then when you watch, uh, you know, you get the source of the media from outside of like Iran, they said that Halab fell. Um, so you really didn't know that Halab eventually freed or Halab, uh, you know, uh, uh, fell. Um, and but when you like look at it from the point of view, the people who are living there, because I was following some of them like in a Facebook or other social medias, you would just see uh, like images of people who are dying, who are losing their houses, uh, who are just getting poorer than before, you know, and we are not completely happy with this situation. And you would see just, just two countries, you know, like having a fight in other people's land, which is like, to me, like kind of ridiculous. Uh, so that's why I put it like this in a film that one time she said that Halab freed with the like image that looks like that she's in a media of Iran. And one time she said that, oh, Halab, um, uh, uh, fell, which looks like that she was in a media of like other countries and not, you know what I mean, none of them is really truthful. That's what I want to mention. And um, so, so this is uh, um, a Kurdish man in the, um, 
in the story and also we see uh, different uh, ethnicities in the film. Um, so you, are you also connected to different um, ethnic ethnicities in America, like a diaspora community? I personally, you mean, or? Yes, so how, how because, um, or which role do the different ethnicities um, play in your film? Mm. Uh, I mean, uh, I mean, like, you know, this uh, repression that, for example, like many ethnicities, you know, experience in Iran is also the same that in the U.S. too, you know, there are like uh, some kinds of ethnicity in the U.S. also, who like face the repression and injustice too. So, uh, I mean, it, that's the way that you can connect it, because in the U.S. you also see that like some of, some of the minorities and uh, like people, um, who are in a like a certain ethnicity, like black people or in, in indigenous people, uh, they are facing injustice too, too. So that's how it's kind of connected, yeah. Also, it's very interesting um, how you uh, depict also the perception of America as a concept, like the concept mm. of themes in your film, and also how you make links to uh, the history. And uh, I've seen, um, like, or I researched about your other projects. Unfortunately, I couldn't see uh, your film War Game and uh, the other one. But I noticed that you also uh, play with topics like media representation and war and politics. And um, yeah, so for me and maybe also for the audience who could watch this later, it would be interesting to know how these topics continue in your work and what is your, your goal to express to the audience. Uh, yeah, I mean, for me, it's like media is kind of like the source of manipulation of people. So in a film that I recently made, uh, which is War Game, uh, it's a like uh, imaginary war between the U.S. and a Latin American country, which is a like uh, made up Latin American country, uh, Cubuchilia, and everything is kind of like controlled by the media. So it's like more uh, like kind of uh, more surrealistic than America because in America you are seeing the media, which is like pretty powerful, but it's not controlling everything. But there is like, uh, it's a kind of science fiction situation. It's a like op 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 apocalypse situation that like everything is controlled by media. Um, so uh, yeah, I'm trying to uh, kind of explore um, the role of the media and also uh, uh explore the role of the u.s uh in a uh, like the situation of the uh, especially underdeveloped countries or uh, third world countries that's what i'm trying to do and uh, now you are developing uh, a new project at the moment um uh, actually i i was trying to make a film for my thesis but because of the pandemic it stopped uh, and right now i'm working on a documentary which is a uh, about a Kamran Shirdel who was a uh, who is a Iranian director who has a, like very pretty famous like works and kind of isolated these days uh, i'm trying to make a documentary about him so that's what i'm trying to do but it's a little bit hard because of the pandemic. Yes, it's everywhere. Is it, yeah. is it, is it now also uh, like lockdown again in the US? It's not lockdown, but I mean, it's hard to have a like, uh, you know, like people on a set or, you know, making a film is kind of impossible. <laughs> okay. It's crazy. Also in Germany, we have like new regulations uh, how to make films like um, there are new rules new um, yeah it's it's 
it's a new area for filmmaking. Yeah. Um, yeah, interesting. So, um, uh, so is this your first um, uh, meeting with uh, Kurdish cinema, or did you, or have you been influenced by Kurdish cinema before? I mean, I love like uh, I love like many works in Kurdish cinema, uh, but it was the first thing that I made about it. So, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's kind of like the first time. I'm, I'm very happy that I'm a part of the Kurdish Film Festival. It's really an honor for me. Yeah. 